What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream with my uh, beautiful co-host here, Missy Mimis. What's going on there guys? Uh, it is Saturday night. Just got back from a night of skating out here at our local skating rink. So a uh, little sore. Kind of the reason why we got the late update going on right now. But uh, it is Saturday night, July 9th, 2022, about 10.08 p.m. California time. Latest quake looks like a one point, uh, what do we got there? 1.2 into the area of Alaska. Seeing a little bit of movement up there right now. Let's go ahead and check out the latest map here from the USGS showing some activity out here in the Oklahoma area. Got a 3.3 near Alex, Oklahoma. Never heard of it. Uh, looks like it's just outside of Chickasha area. And uh, let's see what we got far as the. Uh, um, well, what do you think's out there? Pumping operations? <laughs> Thousands some, of them? Yeah, I got some squares out there. Yeah, there's quite a few squares. Those are indicative of a uh, of wells former, yeah, wells, former pumping operations, oil operations out there. It's about uh, five kilometer depth for that earthquake. So out there in the many hundreds of them. <laughs> uh, aside from that, let me see what we got here. Let me go bring up the uh, all magnitudes and Got a couple up north of uh, Enid area. Not a whole lot going on throughout the eastern part of the country. Uh, most of the activity today has been confined, of course, over here to the Pacific uh, Plate here around the Fiji Islands area and up through Papua New Guinea. Let's go ahead and check out the West Coast movement here. A little activity, a little swarm here going on around the Lake Almanor area. That's just up the road from us. Uh, looks like a 2.7, the largest in this little sequence of earthquakes, and they're kind of all over the place as far as the um, the depth goes. Right there, I mean, that's a little odd. Yeah. Definitely a little odd. Well, away from Lassen, Mount Lassen sits up here about uh, 10 miles or so. So I don't believe it's associated with uh, the volcano itself. But uh, yeah, a little, little odd activity kicking up there today. One earthquake outside of Mount Shasta. Um, I did post on my uh, Facebook page a couple close-ups that the uh, the Forest Service took of the rock slides creating dust. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, go check out the uh, my Facebook page and uh, be able to read that. Just uh, dust, <laughs> ash, yeah. old dust and ash from rock falls. Uh, anyway, one little earthquake here near McLeod, a little point nine at six kilometers there below the surface. Oregon, Washington, a little spotty activity. Not a whole lot going on up there in that area of the world. The uh, trimmer map tonight, let's go ahead and pull this up. Most of the trimmer tonight confined here to the Oregon area. Looking at 191 epicenters confined right here below Oregon in this area of the Cascadia subduction zone. So a little uptick tonight looks like in that area. Uh, back to the map. So movement outside of Idaho or uh, in Idaho, just off, off the uh, Sawtooth Fault system, a 3.1 coming in just a short time ago in that area. Not a whole lot going on through Yellowstone, nothing popping up there at all. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone overview map here. And um, yeah, not a whole lot going on. I don't see too many earthquakes. A little swarming over here around this area, but these are not big quakes whatsoever. Uh, very small microquakes and hardly any of them are showing up on any of the other, uh, other seismograph stations there. So these are very small quakes. Uh, for the rest of California, what do we got here? Of course, typical movement here in the uh, Clear Lake volcanic field there with the hydrothermal operations. Some movement into the eastern Sierra Nevada down through the Ridgecrest area. Uh, no major swarms going on here yet in Southern California. We got one earthquake within the last hour, 2.2 and a uh, little activity over here around the Brawley Seismic Zone. That was from earlier this morning time frame. Alaska, down through uh, Japan, things kind of tapering off a little bit. Uh, looks like we've come to a little halt here uh, in terms of that westward pressure movement here that we were watching over the last couple days. So things are uh, at a pause for right now. Kind of why we're seeing the return of activity here along the states kind of lighten up like crazy getting in little teeter-totter effect there yep teeter-totter effect in full swing <laughs> uh definitely getting into areas around the um, uh, middle part of the states here a lot of times we'll see texas oklahoma uh, and potentially the new madrid zone area 
start showing some swarming. So we'll watch this area pretty closely, depending on what type of activity we see here overnight. If we see some larger scale adjustment here, then uh, things may back off here along the west coast. We did have some deep earthquake activity uh, over the last 24 hours. It looks like the most recent one here was a 4.4 at 599 kilometers. That's pretty deep. I'm still expecting something much larger in this area, but down there uh, within that range, uh, we had a couple days of uh, hardly any activity in the Fiji Islands area. So we're getting a couple fours there, but I think we're gonna be seeing something much larger in that region pretty soon. Uh, some activity around Mauna Loa once again today, kicking up here with a pretty good earthquake swarm. Uh, looks like just right on the Western flank area. Uh, the majority of these quakes, well, kind of not not too shallow here about four kilometers or so below the surface so this could be something moving around down there far as magma goes gonna have to watch that pretty closely uh, like I said just right there on the western side of Mauna Loa let me check out uh, see if there's any updates here on that volcano itself and uh, let's see what we got here HVO um, yeah it looks like a couple days ago they the uh, did an update but nothing far as recent activity goes so uh, we'll see if they put anything out uh, potentially tomorrow or Monday in regards to the swarming activity I just gotta watch that pretty closely here swarms around volcanoes definitely not a good sign but uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on it Pahala looking pretty active as well down there on the southeastern region of the Big Island. Uh, some activity around Papua New Guinea and also the Java Trench. All that activity has come to a halt though this evening. Uh, and again, like I said, most of the movement right now can find over here on this side of the plate. South America, not a whole lot going on. One earthquake, a little four pointer into the Peru Chile Trench and should, some activity. What's that? So we should check uh, <coughs> EMSC and see if, see if there's anything. Any yeah. Let's go ahead and we'll check this out here real quick and see what's going on. Of course, this area is a major plate boundary, mm -hmm. so there's always twos and threes kicking off, just like in California. Sometimes the USGS doesn't report all the fours. <laughs> Let's see so what we got here. We can check it out. South America region, quite a few threes. Uh, well, into the Middle America Trench, and then down here into the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, looks like, yeah, quite a few threes in there. Just that one four-pointer. There's a 4.1. Yeah, it looks too. like there's a 4.1. And uh, yeah, a little activity there that uh, not being picked up by the USGS. 5.5. Was that listed on the... Uh, I think that's on there. I believe so. On the USGS map? There should be. Yeah, yeah that's going to be that earthquake right there. 5.4. So yeah, a little spotty activity <coughs> in that region. But overall, nothing, nothing yeah. major going on like yet. All the way off to the west, it's very quiet. Things have kind of come to a stop. So, we'll watch the west coast for now. Um, South America could start popping here as well. It's not super active, um, you know. But obviously, there's quite a few threes kicking up here and twos uh, into the area of the Peru Chile Trench, which, which is very typical for that area. Uh, let's see, earthquake Scanda. There's not a whole lot going on up there but we do like to check them once in a while uh latest quake looks like it's way up here off the coast um let's see what we got little earthquake here from yesterday it looks like 0.7 at 18 kilometers aside from that looks pretty quiet up there uh, as far as m the most recent activity goes uh solar weather activity we'll go ahead and run this by real quick because things are looking pretty active in terms of sunspot and flaring potential. Uh, here's the uh, massive sunspots that are kind of almost like a bullseye angle. Uh, this is de definitely um, facing us and uh, in the coming days or in the next 24 or 36 hours should be directly bullseye if anything were to pop off. <clears throat> 3055's looking pretty dynamic here with their uh, mixing of the fields. There's definitely some potential from both of those large sunspots. So I have a question about your, the sunspots. What's up? What's the difference between the red color and the, and the blue color? 
different magnetic fields. I see. Okay. Now, whether... Yeah, we're not going to go into the, that too I much tonight. I remember the larger one that we had recently was more reds and reds. Like, then there was, there were... I don't think it had any blues, that really big one. Yeah. So it didn't pop off a lot. <laughs> yeah, different uh, different magnetic field features there with the colors. That's actually a pretty good question. Might go over that in a different... Uh, Sounds good. Different day when I'm not so tired from... But I was just curious because I was like, I wonder... You know, I haven't noticed it, so... Uh, let's see. So we're looking at a 85% chance of a flare, C flare anyway, M flare at 35% chance, X flare around 10. Um, it definitely looks like they will be uh, producing something here pretty soon as far as these uh, gigantic sunspots go. And these guys, let's see, probability details are mostly confined to those two large sunspots, 3055 and 3053 which are pretty dynamic looking there. <clears throat> it's kind of neat. Uh, it does harbor a uh, beta, cla beta class, it looks like, right now. Let's see what we got for... Th Did I check this one yet? Was that the same no, one? No, that's a different one. So, yeah, they both definitely have a chance of uh, at least a pretty good C flare, if not an M flare, as these things continue to grow and morph a little bit into uh, maybe something a little bit more dynamic in terms of creating a nice flare. Uh, looks like there was an eruption off the west limb earlier this morning. Uh, if, it did, if it did create a, a CME, definitely a ways away from Earth, directed away from Earth. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty nice little image right there. See that? Yeah. Beautiful feature. But either way, the sun's definitely waking up, getting pretty active, and uh, We'll see what happens here in the coming days with this activity. There's a small coronal hole that's facing us, 99. And of course, you got all these sunspots here mixing up. Could get pretty interesting here tomorrow and Monday. We'll see what pops off here from the sun. All right, guys, we're going to call it a night. I uh, hope everyone enjoys their Saturday night, uh, early Sunday morning for some out there. Uh, you got anything else, Missy Mimi's? Nope definitely tired <laughs> yep and uh we're busy writing down those entries into the seventy-five thousand subscriber giveaway got quite a few of them uh that will be held the drawing will be held next sunday not this sunday but next sunday uh, the drawing ends um one week from today on saturday so we'll be doing the drawing live for our seventy-five thousand subscriber giveaway on sunday We'll pick out six lucky winners from a fishbowl full of tickets with all the entries written on them. And we'll, uh, we'll give away some prizes. So, Looking forward. Right? It's going to be fun. All right, guys. Have a good night. Stay safe out there. We will chat you another time. Have a good night, guys.